to the urgent flooding situation in New Jersey. The deadly storm earlier this week is causing the river to overflow, leading to rescues and evacuations. Rob Marciano is near the river in Wayne, New Jersey with the latest. Good morning, Rob. Hey, good morning, Michael. Hard to believe that we're dealing with this sort of flooding in December in the Northeast. Certainly feels like a climate change fingerprint. Uh, the rivers right now here, the Passaic River, cresting at record levels, hasn't been this high since August of 2011. That was Hurricane, Hurricane Irene. Now it's been nearly two days since the rain has stopped here and people are still having to be rescued from the rising water. Overnight, with parts of the Northeast still underwater, urgent rescues happening in the dark of night. Flashing lights illuminating first responders in North Jersey as they search for stranded homeowners. Families pulled from homes. Rescuing them in those locations is not an easy task. It's something that may at some point become impossible. A dialysis patient carried to safety in Patterson, New Jersey. From Maine to New Hampshire and Vermont, residents reeling in the wake of that powerful and deadly storm. This road in Maine washed away. Water damage everywhere. It's been like this for two days. Countless cars covered by feet of water. This couple in Wayne, New Jersey, using a shovel to paddle their boat to dry land after the first floor of their home was flooded. You're going to have to fix the houses and you're going to be out of the house in months. Barris Oster climbed to the roof where he could see his neighbor's house, surrounded by floodwaters, fully engulfed in flames. First responders blocked from getting to it, spraying it down from a distance. I mean, you can imagine you get this sort of flooding in highly populated urban areas. It's very difficult for first responders to get to where they need to go. All right, this isn't the only river that's cresting this morning. Many more are still in flood states, dozens of them across the northeast. Most of them will crest either today or in the next day or two, but most of them also will take several days to recede. Here we are five days before Christmas, guys, and uh, there's another swamp car over there. These guys are obviously aren't going anywhere, and if your shoppers are looking to come to this mall today, well, they're going to have to choose a different parking lot. Michael. All right. Thank you, Rob, for tracking that here with us on the East Coast. And Ginger is here tracking a new storm for the West Coast. Good morning, Ginger. Good morning to you, Michael. Unfortunately, flooding in the East and now a big time flood watch that includes Los Angeles and Santa Barbara. This is video from Rolling Hills Estates, California. Maybe you'll remember last July when the landslide took them out there. They've been working really hard to try to get all that debris because this is a very vulnerable spot. And there are many of these in the hills and the mountainsides outside of Los Angeles that we're concerned about going into the next 48 hours because we've got this storm that's going to plow in. It's going to come with, yes, flooding rains on the order of three to six inches on the high end. The wind alerts are for gusts upwards of 60 miles per hour. So taking down power lines, those high trees and the eucalyptus we spoke about yesterday. We time it out for you here tonight. It's like Santa Barbara, San Luis Obispo, and then down into Los Angeles by Friday. So that's the kind of rounds of rain you're going to be dealing with. It's a cutoff low, so it's kind of stagnant in a way. There's an elevated flood risk. That's the second highest level that we go to. We do not see that in Southern California that often. All right, Ginger, thank you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.